From the stars of tomorrow to a star of today, singer Tony Brent, caught here in a pensive mood as he listens to a new recording. When there's nobody lonesome for me But although Tony's name is constantly at the top of the hit parade and his fan following is enormous, few people realize that second only to music is his love for motoring. Furthermore, because of his extensive knowledge in this sphere, he's become a willing, acting, unpaid advisor and mechanic to his fellow artists in show business. Whenever they've got a problem, they go straight to Tony. On this occasion, the friend in need is one half of the rapidly rising young comedy team. Yes, you're right, Mike and Bernie Winters. This one's Mike. Actually, it takes considerable courage to let even your best friend tinker around with a brand new sports car, but Mike knows it's in good hands. In fact, before Tony took up singing, he was a motor mechanic. These days, if he's not taking one of his friend's cars to pieces, he's stripping down one of his own. We say one of his own because he changes his cars more often than he can remember. Mike's been complaining about the engine idling and some peculiar noises. And as new cars often do have teething troubles, he's asked for an expert opinion. Well, there's obviously nothing radically wrong with the engine, probably just something loose rattling in the boot. Well, that solves that little problem. If Mike didn't show any surprise at finding Bernie asleep in the boot, that's because when they're traveling, he keeps him there for safety, rather than risk having him in the front, exposed to all the gears and the steering wheel, for example. You can see what we mean. It's not as though Bernie is deliberately trying to put a spanner in the works, so to speak. On the contrary, he's the most willing of helpers, which is just the trouble, if only he wasn't so willing. All in all, Tony is one in a million to give up what little leisure time he has to help out his friends. At the same time, of course, perhaps now you can see why some of his pals go to him instead of the local garage. What garage would put up with them? In fact, at this rate, Tony is going to have to move house pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs>